Oh no. Oh no, we ran right into a camp of freaking people. This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to some more Conan Exiles. All right, as you can see, uh, I've, made, I've made some progress. We got our house built here. Just a decent little house, a little something to hold us over. I may move, I may not move. I don't know. I, I do know I don't think I'm going to build onto this anymore for now. I got a bunch of our crafting stations in here. I think I got everything I need for our starting crafting station, uh, or stations, except for the blacksmith. Uh, and that's what we're actually going to work on today. I got these. This is missing a resource. I don't know what this is. Um, anybody knows what this is? Let me know in the comments. I noticed from the last video, we do have some uh, exiles out there playing along. And uh, yeah, they have a little bit of information. So uh, if you know what this is, I'm assuming this is like sulfur or bone meal or something composty, uh, nitrogen, something. I don't know what it is. Don't know where to get it. But I wanted to start checking out the the whole planting thing. Um, so we need the fertilizer and the seeds to make that a thing. And uh, yeah, so anyway, got this. This is all we got. Got a nice little balcony out here so we can see and uh, see down when the purge is coming. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this just yet. I was thinking maybe archers across the top here, but as you can see, our purge meter is slowly filling up. It's, it's gonna be a thing uh, here soon. I. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. I just need to, uh, well, I'm almost ready for it. We need to get some iron going because in order for me to tame thralls and do everything else and make any more progression, I need iron. So I was doing some research and from what I found out, iron should be right around this area here and like right in here. So that's where we're headed to today. So, uh, yeah, I think we're good. We got meat. Um... Got a bedroll, got, yeah, I think, I think we're good. I don't know if, I mean, I'm not carrying anything serious, so if I do die, I mean, I don't really want to lose this armor. This was kind of pain in the butt to make, but um, as you can see, we did upgrade our armor. Yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Actually, I don't remember if I put it on, if I lose my stuff when I die or not. I don't remember. I don't know. We'll find out, because I'm sure I'll die. So we're gonna swim, oh, something else that was cool, fish basket. Check this out, they added fish baskets to the game. I didn't even know those were a thing until I found them, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So if you need food, you just put them in there. Look, we've already caught all kinds of food, and they just hang out in there. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna clear it out now, because I'm trying to save as much weight as possible. Uh, I want to bring back as much iron as I can. So you can get iron from the stones and stuff, like normal stone like that there that my cursor's pointing at. Um, but it's like a really low chance. I've only gotten four. Um, yeah, so, well, out of what I got, I, I got four iron ingots, which is not a whole lot. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead on up this hill, and there are straight up like iron nodes that give a large amount of iron and I think we just need to go right up there. Let's take another look at the map. Actually, I think that's gonna lead us up here. We need to go down a little bit more. So we need to go over to here and then cross over to this like little lush area and then follow that pathway up. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just, uh, I feel like swimming's kind of slow. So we're just gonna swim across this way and then run down the embankment or the, the bank there and we should be good. Oh, we got some more shellbacks over there. I figured out the easiest way to deal with those guys. First of all, I've been, I've played with all the different weapons. Like I, I wasted the points to learn the stone versions of all the different weapons so I could decide on what I like the most. And right now I'm kind of torn between the broadsword, the daggers, and the giant maul that you see that I have equipped right now. Um, the maul is, Okay, it's probably my least favorite just because it's so slow. It hits hard. It hits really hard, but the daggers, they stack a bleed effect that just compounds the more you stack it onto the target. And oh my god, it's so good for killing the, the, the shellbacks, shellbacks, whatever those things are called, the giant turtle things. Yeah, it's so good for killing them. Actually, we got two here. Let my stamina regen. I'll show you real quick bringing these guys down with the daggers. Now, for people though, I found the two-handed broadsword was much better, so I'll show you that too, because we got a dude up there, but watch this. So you just like, bam, bam, bam. 
and then dodge back out of the way. Oh, we got another one who wants to come in. All right, so I'll give him a two for one here. Good old two for one. So we'll jump back here. And look at how much health he's lost. You do not want to get hit by that slam. And he's down. We'll roll out of the way. We'll let our stamina regen. And then we'll just go on on this guy with full heavy hits. Roll out of the way. Hit him again with some more heavy hits. And then watch him. He'll just bleed to death. Super easy. Now, I did not have that kind of luck. because The thing with, um, with these guys, we had the luck with them because they're so slow. I did not have that kind of luck with the... Uh, with uh, the people so there's some people up here there's also a ton of gators it also works really well the daggers also re work really well with the gators um well these guys are about to get wrecked so i guess we're just gonna kind of bypass that just go swimming across here and say uh never mind to that one i'm sure i'll run into some people here eventually and uh, I can show you how well the broadsword works with them and made very short work when I was testing it out okay so I think we are where we want to be I think we just need to go right up this path here and right around on the other side of that I think that's where where the iron should be it's somewhere up in here uh, we'll find it we just got to be careful there could be some hyenas and stuff um, rhinos you know, the usual crazy wildlife. I don't think we'll run into too many people. If we do, we'll handle them. We'll be all right. Um, my main fear is archers. Let's uh, let's eat a little bit to, uh, to make sure we're nice and full on health. And we should have some. Let me look at the map here. Yeah, we should be. Actually, I think it's up around this side. So I think we need to go up a little further. Cause that's what we were looking at just there so I think we need to go up this way and here we go here's some uh, iron right here pretty sure this is iron node so if you take a look at the map you can see where I'm at let's zoom in and I don't know why it does this see this I don't that's really weird that flicker I don't know but you can see where we're at right here so um, we zoom back out now for starting bases I recommend starting anywhere along this shoreline here this if i'm not mistaken is swamp area you may not want to get too close to that i don't know i haven't been over that way but i always start right in here somewhere really good easy starting area throwing your base anywhere around any of these areas like right in here on both sides of this river even up in here would be good you get plenty of starting resources and there's not a lot to murder you and all that good stuff so we're a little bit far away we're like really far away from uh, iron up here but you know it'll be all right like I said I may move later I don't know but you can see we're getting tons of iron from this and we gained a level which is nice tons of iron now I did kick up the um, the rates a little bit because what the heck are those um, anyway, I did kick up the rates a little bit for gathering because it was just turning into a major grind fest for for pretty much everything and ain't nobody got time for that. So I did kick up the gather rates just a little bit. Um, they're at four times right now. Now all along this and I'm hoping I don't know what those are and I don't know how easy they will be to fight and I don't really have any way to get away from them. Let's check over this way. I'd much rather go up against a hyena or three. So we got a couple hyenas over there. Let's see if there's any if there's any iron over here. Now, the what I found is that iron is all along that there. Um, so a couple a couple guides and other shenanigans, but I want to see if maybe there might be some around here. Maybe there's plenty of stone. It looks like. No, whatever those things are, we may have to fight them. It could be bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get a little little regen going, and we'll drink a little bit just so we don't want to be thirsty halfway through a battle. And I guess we'll just see what we can do. Maybe they're passive. I don't I don't know what they are. I've never seen them before. But I really doubt they're passive, like I really do. Okay, they seem to be wandering off. 
Maybe if I just hug the mountain. I can also, another option is I can also climb the mountainside here. Just try to run past this guy. Yeah, no, he, um, he's angry. He made a noise. Climb the mountain, lady. Oh, I done wore some of our stamina down. Oh, it's gonna be close. I don't know. Are we gonna get up it? Are you up it? Can I, can I? All right, all right. Oh, no. Oh, no, we ran right into a camp of freaking people. All right, let's run down here. All right, I don't think it's paying attention. I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna try to harvest up. I wanna get as much as I can, like, until I can't carry anymore. Okay, it doesn't see us. It's walking away. Just keep walking away. One more. All right, all right, I'm going back up on the mountainside here. I'd much rather deal with the people. All right, let's throw out the stone that we got. So let's just drop that. We'll drop the wood. I picked up a little bit of stuff just to be able to fix my weapon. You know what? Let's check out this camp. We're here. I discovered Dust Devil Ridge. How about that? Oh, we got an archer. Oh, no. Nope. Not dealing with that right now. Oh, Jesus. They're still chasing me. Oh, man. And there's more iron there. I might have to try to fight them. If I can get in on the archer. Okay. One down. Our new light armor is pretty good. We seem to be able to take much more of a beating than we were before. Alright, let's go back up here. I'm going to try to get the jump on this archer. Where did he go? Is that him? Or her? Uh, yep, that's her. Oh, no. Get closer before you start swinging. Oh, that was good. Alright, so daggers for archers. Because you close the gap so much faster. Alright, so we're our, our... Yeah, you close the gap so fast. Oh, man. Can you bleed to death already? Alright, there we go. Whoo! Ooh, that was... That was close. That is he dead? All right, let's uh, let's get a little regen going there. Drink a little bit, and let's check. Let's see if we got any loot. What do we got here? Ooh, I have no idea what that is. Oh, I think that's food. Okay, uh, banner. We got that. Uh, I'll take plant fiber. Um, I'll take this and repair my weapons real quick. So we'll repair that. Pair that. That should be good. And then I'll throw that out after the fact. Uh, let's see. Was that it? Was that all that was up here? Well, that's kind of lame. That's all this camp. They were defending that little bit of stuff to the death. <laughs> they really didn't want to. They didn't want to give it up. Actually, did they have anything on them that we can loot? Let's check. Uh, I split that lady in half, and yes, she does have stuff. She's got salted berries. Where's the dude? Where did I leave his corpse? Um, oh, it looks like he fell through the ground. Uh, he also has nothing that I want. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go back down here and uh, let's see. Let's drop, drop that. I don't need that. And let's go back down here and see if we can get rest of this iron without aggravating these giant horn things. Because there was more right over here right here yeah I want that I want as much iron as possible I don't want to have to make this trip like every five minutes you know once in a while is fine I just don't want to have to keep doing it over and over and over alright so I think we're good 
I'm gonna head back to base. Um, if anything exciting happens, I'll be sure to uh, include it in the video. So that was quite the journey back. Uh, nothing, nothing really happened. It was just a long trip back. And uh, now that we're back, we can come over here to our furnace and we can drop all of that in there and light this bad boy and let that get going. And now we can make some, uh, some upgraded tools once that gets going. We need to make this though. And that right there is going to cost us a hundred iron bar alone. And I also, I need to make brick and I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Um, I wonder if just putting stone in there will make brick. I have no clue how to make brick. I'm going to have to look that one up. Oh, okay. So yeah, stone. All right. Well, that works. So we are going to need 50 stone and 100 iron bars. That will give us our blacksmith's uh, workbench. And I think I'm going to put that like right here, probably if it's not too big or maybe, yeah, probably right here for now. Um, so yeah, we got that bad boy. We got to craft that. And then I think we can start making some upgraded tools and uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to let that stuff craft up for now. And we're going to uh, run down here. I wanted to, uh, there were some camps down along the way here. And I wanted to uh, to see if they got anything good. We might be able to get some uh, some goodies. I just wanted to get that iron back before I did any more fighting just to be on the safe side. I prefer not to, yeah, I, I really didn't want to lose any of that iron. All right, so here we go. We got a gator here and I can show you um, how well this works on gator. So once again, daggers, let's do a, uh, a full combo on this guy and I'm doing the, the heavy combo. And um, then you can like, they're pretty easy to get out of their way when they strike. So see, he's got that bite. So then we um, we come in and do that, and you can hit him with a bunch of the the normal strikes. Make sure you dodge him. Now, when you have the daggers, you also have um, this flip here, so we can do this, and that's hitting the control key. That's your block key. So um, I find that the dodge works the best. Dodge uses a lot of your stamina but it's so much quicker and you can it stops whatever you're doing the um the flip does not you have to stop and then flip so yeah let me wait for this guy to strike and then we'll just go in there we go and he's dead so yeah i really like the daggers i think i'm gonna end up going with a combination of the the sword here and and the daggers because as you saw earlier the daggers worked really good for closing the gap on that uh that one guy the the bow the archers i'll get it out eventually so um the problem with the broadsword is it's so slow and he was able to keep the gap between us but the the daggers because you lunge forward so much um and they're specifically made to close gaps and even maybe a um having both of them so we'll let her strike and then we'll go in on her again. Oh yeah, see it's, when they have something like that, they hit so much harder. And then we just sliced her in half. <laughs> oh, she has some die on her, that's awesome. So see, killing these guys is worth it, that's cool. All right, was she the only one or was there another one? But for most humans, I really like this big broadsword. That it, was she just a loner? There was a camp around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's two more. Let's let our stamina regen before we go in on them. Watch out. Yeah, see? Such short work. And you're hitting two at a time with that big swing that she does. That? Oh, yeah. It's so good. You're just, like, cleaving through people. All right, what does she got? I have no idea what that's used for, but I'll take it and plant fiber is always welcome. Oh, more dye. That's freaking fantastic. So we can dye up some of our clothes. Maybe not the colors that I would necessarily choose, if, you know, normally, but still, that's awesome. 
All right, and I think I think that's about it. All right, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the the little adventure today on uh, going to get iron and seeing where iron is and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to let that stuff craft up. Then I'm going to make the um, the blacksmith's workbench and we'll get crafting up some more uh, iron tools and iron weapons and stuff like that so we can do a little more damage and get maybe get some better armor that way we can uh, we can do some more fun stuff because right now we're kind of we're, we're still still a newbie we got nothing <laughs> we don't got a whole lot going on I'm just wearing some cheap old light armor and uh, it's not really the best option for some of the stuff I would like to do because there's dungeons and stuff like that that I want to check out so yeah we got a lot more progression to make uh, before we can do any of that stuff and go raiding large camps and stuff But uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button I want to give a big thank you to my patreon supporters for making this episode possible You all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew of patreons Please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment Just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time. Thanks for watching